Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jasmine and I'm here with a really quick video about things that you should pack for your cruise. And stay tuned till the end for a funny story about Dramamine and alcohol and about Benadryl. Stay tuned for that video. Okay, so we are back. So I'm in a different place today. I'm in my bedroom. And as you know, I'm getting ready to go on a seven day cruise with Carnival to the South Caribbean. So I'm going through everything I have with all my luggage and everything and make sure I have everything I need before I go on my cruise. So I'm just gonna show you some recommended items that I have on my cruise. And I may pick up some more or order some more on amazon.com. By the way, if you wanna see my recommended list of things you should pack for your cruise, check down in the description box below for my Amazon store. All right, YouTube, so I'm back in my room, as you can see, and I'm gonna show you a few things that I take with me on my cruise that you may be able to get for your next cruise or your next vacation. So the first thing I have is the American Flyer black luggage set. It's a five piece set, as you can see. There's a large, medium, small, and then there are two carry-ons. So my suggestion for your cruise is take an extra outfit and put it in your smaller carry-on with your toiletries because you're most likely gonna have to wait for your luggage if you don't get on the ship early. So that's just a good tip. Okay, so my next recommended item is a camera. If you don't already have one, I suggest you could pick up the Nikon camera. This is a Nikon Coolpix. And if you can see that, it says B500. Um, it's a quality camera. It's not that expensive. And it's on in my Amazon recommended list if you go to the link and check it out. It comes with a case. It comes with USB cables to connect to your computer or your TV. And this lens comes off. So you can keep your lens safe and clean while you're on vacation. And it also has this strap so you can wear it around your neck for safety so it doesn't fall in the water if you're on an excursion or you taking pictures on a cruise ship. So that's my next recommended Nikon camera. Okay, you two. So for my third recommended item, this might seem a little bit ghetto, but it's very effective. And it is a Ziploc bag. Now, why do I recommend a Ziploc bag? Specifically a freezer bag is because you can add your toiletries in here and they are very less likely to open up and spill in your luggage. So I have some shampoo and conditioner that I usually pack with me. Just fit it in here and Ziploc it. And there you go, Ziploc bags. They're handy and they're very cheap. So that's my next recommended item. My list is luggage tags. Now I ordered these offline last year. When you get your luggage tag, I printed mine off early, so I folded this up and then I just inserted it in the sleeve. And this attaches right to your luggage, so you don't have to worry about trying to wrap paper around this handle. These connect right on here. And all you have to do is unscrew this. Well, I can do it now. You would just unscrew it. Okay, you unscrew it and just attach it to your luggage. And when the porter comes to bring your luggage to the room, they know exactly where to go. So this is my old ticket. I just left it in here for example. But you can get a pack of these for really cheap on my recommended list with my Amazon link that's in the description box below. Okay, YouTube, so how many of you have left your charger before you got on a plane or a ship or whatever? So my next recommended is to buy a charger. I recommend the ones that have multi-plugs because in the staterooms, they have like two plugs by the mirror, they have one in the bathroom and like one by the bed or two by the bed. 
So if you're with a group of people, I highly recommend getting a multi-charger for your devices. Okay, so next on the list is a ID holder, passport holder. These are great. You can keep your money in here, your ID, your tickets, and it fits your passport very easily. This is kind of like an all-in-one thing. And it hooks around your neck. So if you are off the ship and you're going on an excursion and you want to keep everything close to you, this is a really good option. And it's not that expensive. So check out the link below the Amazon store. Okay, this is specifically for the ladies. Makeup. Once again, Ziploc bags. Very convenient. You can find your brushes, your blenders, your shadows, your concealers right in here. You can also take a makeup bag with you, but you see you have to dig in here to find what you need and then pour it out. So I recommend taking these with you so you can find everything you need fast and easy while you're on vacation. And next on the list, last but not least, is a first aid kit. Now, once again, I have my handy dandy Ziploc bags with everything you could possibly need for a cruise if something happened and you can't get to like the nurse on time or the little emergency room they have there. But I have everything from Pepto-Bismol to Modium AD, Band-Aid, you name it, I got it. And I also have Dramamine and Benadryl. And there are two very important reasons why you should keep these with you at all times. Okay, YouTube, so here's a funny story. Dramamine, this is my public service announcement for Dramamine. If you can see this, Okay, Dramamine is for seasickness. Now, I've been on ships before. I've been on water before. So I thought I was going to be okay when I got on the cruise ship. I'm like, well, I've been, you know, I've been on lakes before. I did the little speed boats and did the lake tours in Chicago. And I've been on pontoon boats in Georgia. So those were tiny boats. What happened on the cruise ship, my first night on a cruise ship, I will never forget it, but Dramamine saved my life. Okay, so I kind of knew things were going to go left on a cruise ship when the staff said, ooh, the waters are choppy. You know, we heard that we were going around the ship. So the first night, we were headed to dinner, and the ship was kind of rocky. Like when I was in my stateroom, when I, me and my travel buddy was getting ready to go, I, I swear to God, I was sitting in the bed and I was doing this. You know, I didn't think nothing of it. Doing this the whole time. And after a while, it started to get to me. So I told my friend, I said, oh, you know, I need to take something before we go to dinner. So I got my handy dandy Dramamine that one of my coworkers re recommended to me. She recommended this or a patch. I didn't want to have a patch on me like the whole trip. So... I got this little pack. They're little tablets. And this is the, I didn't notice at first, but this is the drowsy kind, but it's very effective and it works fast. But let me tell you what happened next. We go to dinner. The ship is rocking, so everybody's doing this, literally. People are holding on to walls and kind of falling into tables and everything. So we got to the dinner. We sat down and ate. I ordered a cocktail. Didn't think nothing of it. Ordered some wine. I'm just drinking. After I took this, had no idea about the side effects of it until the end of dinner where I felt nauseous and woozy and my friend had to help me back to the room. I literally sat on the bed 
I was in a daze. I was like completely, I was completely gone. <laughs> and I was just sitting in the bed rocking. Feel like I was gonna throw up and then I literally passed out. I woke up the next morning, didn't know what happened. And when I read on here, I, I suggest you read this. It says to prevent motion sickness, the first dose should be taken half an hour or hour before you start your activity. I didn't know this. I just got on the ship, had no idea about the motion was gonna bother me. So I didn't take this, take this till way after the fact. Okay, so on here, it doesn't quite say don't take it with alcohol, but I'm telling you, do not take this and have a cocktail. You will be off your rocker, passed out somewhere. Cause that's what happened to me. So. Do not forget Dramamine. I don't care if you've never gotten seasick in your life. Just have it in your little handy dandy pouch with you, your purse, your wallet, whatever. Just have it with you. It's a lifesaver. It saved me the first night I was on the ship. I was completely gone. Okay, so after I took the Dramamine, that first night, I was okay. Like after I woke up, after from when I passed out, the rest of the cruise, I was just fine. It wasn't that much rocky motion on our way back, but all I had to take was one and I was fine after that. So I highly recommend you pack drum me. Okay, and my last story is about Benadryl. Now this is the Walmart version, but still effective has the same ingredients as regular Benadryl now this didn't happen on my particular cruise but I'm just gonna give you a quick story about why you should pack Benadryl it's so important okay so for my 30th birthday I went to Jamaica with my ex ex-husband and we went on a hike in the Blue Mountains now I had on sunscreen that smelled like citrus fruit and you know body oil and all this didn't think nothing of it so i go in my swimsuit with my coverall we go to the blue mountains we're walking through all this forestry and trees and all this see beautiful waterfalls and what happened next i wasn't expecting but we went to this big huge cotton tree they have up there we we're looking at that and next thing you know i start itching because mosquitoes came out of nowhere and attacked my legs, literally. All of my legs, my thighs, everything that was citrusy sweet got ate up by mosquitoes in Jamaica. So here's where Benadryl comes in. Back when I went, the area that I was staying in was in the grill Jamaica. On our way back from the mountains, we could not find a convenience store that had this. Every store we went to, did not have this. They did not have Benadryl on hand. Nothing for allergies. So I had to itch all the way home from Jamaica to Chicago. That's like a four hour flight. I was taking showers all day. Somebody from the hotel gave me alcohol to rub on my legs. I mean, that helped temporarily, but I did not have this Benadryl. So I highly recommend you pack Benadryl if you have allergies, if you're allergic to insect bites or food or anything, this is also a lifesaver. Now, if you have severe allergies, I highly recommend you pack an EpiPen or two because you never know what might happen. But Benadryl is a lifesaver. So that is my list of things that you should pack on your cruise. Now, there are many more other things that you can pack that are in my um, Amazon store. Now, I'm not telling you to do this, but this is just what I hear. A lot of people who like to drink, they sneak alcohol on a ship. Now, I don't recommend you do this, but I've heard people do it. There are little flasks you can pour things into, and you can get fake shampoo and conditioner bottles. I didn't do this because I don't drink like that, but if you're into that, that's also something that's available in the link down below in the description box. If this video helped you at all, give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe or share if you know this information will help somebody else. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.